The body of a young girl is delivered to the morgue of the small town of Marlinton in the USA. The body is given to the makeup specialist of the deceased, Connor, who must prepare the girl for her last journey. Connor looks like an ordinary man, but with bizarre habits. He examines the girl's body and talks to her at the same time, telling that she was taken to the morgue after she drowned in the lake. He tells her the details of how her lungs filled with water and dirt. Connor pulls out a lipstick and begins to paint the girl's lips, while admitting to her that she is the most beautiful girl he has ever worked with. He clarifies that he had to work with various bodies, old people, children, young men, babies and even with people torn apart, with whom he had to tinker to put them in order. But it's different with her. Connor says it's perfect and just a little touch-up is enough and it's done. He admits that he really likes her. Connor begins to behave strangely, while looking around, checking to see if anyone is watching him. He starts stroking the girl's hair and looking at her with a very strange amorous look. It becomes clear that this guy is definitely not all right with his head. Then he touches her face, bends down and decides to kiss the girl. After which it is clear that Connor got a kind of pleasure from what he did. He looks around again to make sure he's not being followed. Connor takes a napkin, wipes the lips of the girl and with the same napkin wipes his lips from the remnants of lipstick. After that, he takes special drops for gluing lips and says the phrase that this is so that she doesn't kiss anyone else except him. This guy is clearly nuts. Connor gets up, wishes the beauty sweet dreams, covers her body and sends it to a special camera. He picks up the cart with his tools and leaves. At this time, in the cell, the girl begins to move her fingers and make strange noises. Suddenly, the cell door creaks open, causing Connor to turn around. He approaches the camera in perplexity, examines the door, and then closes the box again. He checks if he has closed the camera tightly and leaves. After a few seconds, the sound of the door opening is heard and the cart with the body moves out of the cell a little. A frightened Connor slowly approaches the cart with the body and pushes it back, after which he carefully examines the camera, but does not notice anything unusual. He is about to close the door again, but the girl's hand suddenly appears, and then the girl herself, resurrected by a zombie and splashing blood from her mouth, crawls out of the cell. Connor, terrified, begins to crawl away to the wall, and the girl gets up from the cart and begins to move towards the man. Connor begins to pray, and the zombie girl continues to approach him, saying that she likes him too. Blood drips from her mouth, and she continues to ask Connor if he still thinks she's beautiful. Connor starts denying everything and says he didn't know she was alive. The girl replies that it's her turn to kiss and, spewing blood, grabs Connor by the throat and begins to devour him. This is the end, and the moral of the story is this, never kiss dead girls, as they may like it to such an extent that they will rise from the dead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, put likes and comments, and then there will be even more cool retellings of scary stories on the channel.